Hello guys and gals, I'm doing a quick video just because <sighs> this is really it. I do think we're in the t the season of the rapture. I think it could be any day now. I still think it could be on Feast of Trumpets or it could be before. I'm not dogmatic about it. Um, the problem with believing that it has to be a Feast of Trumpets rapture is that it can really only happen on two days out of every year. And so you do away with the whole doctrine of imminence, with, which is all throughout scripture. Um, and, and I don't believe that if we're here for Feast of Trumpets, I don't believe we have to wait another year. Um, I just believe that it's between now and really, really soon. That's it. Shh, Joey, can you be quiet for two minutes, okay? And um, I was thinking, like, we've been puzzling for so long over the fig tree timeline and how does that work? Like, how does it still fit? Because Israel turned 74, and it didn't make sense that Israel would even turn 74, because then plus 7 years is 81. And so, like, it's puzzled me. It felt like May 15th of this year should have been, like, like we shouldn't have even gotten to May 15th. But, when you think of it another way, maybe that was the cutoff. Like, maybe that was the cutoff, but then... Scripture says four months and then the harvest. So if you add four months to May, you do get to September. So now this is the harvest season. So that was like the end of the generation, but we're just waiting for the harvest season. And so that's when you start beginning counting the four months and then the harvest. And now end of summer harvest is September. It's like the Feast of Trumpets is the final um, celebration of the ingathering of the harvest. So... It could be tonight. It could actually be on Feast of Trumpets coming up here. It could be the 24th. I don't care what day it is, and I'm not pointing down a day, but it feels like we have made it. And that's exciting. And so to everyone who's watching with me, you guys, it's just such an exciting time to be alive, even though we're exhausted because we've been on the edge of our seats for, you know, all of us a different amount of time. But for me, five years. Like, I really believed, and I'm going to tell you this, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I really believed in 2017 that Feast of Trumpets, it was going to be the rapture. Because I started watching for the Lord's return in 2016, I mean, yeah, in 2017, in the summer, when there was that major eclipse. So in 2017 is when I really come a lot, came awake to how late we were, and everything started making sense because I was really digging into the scriptures. And so I traveled an hour away to be close to my mom's um, grave. And at that time, my, my dad wasn't was still alive. Um, now my mom and my dad are right next to each other in the same grave. And oh, I wish I could be there at the moment of the rapture, but I don't know the day or the hour. I really don't know. But at that time in 2017, I really believed that it was going to be on Feast of Trumpets at the last Trump. So I got there to her grave site in Olivehurst, um, right about when I thought the last trumpet would be blowing for the feast, you know, calculating the time difference between Israel. Like, that's how, like, serious I was about it. And can you imagine for five years, like, if I would have known then, you have to wait five more years, I was like, ah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a long time, you guys. Um, but interestingly, five is, is the number of grace, and we had so many big signs that year. Like I said, the total solar eclipse in the summer where the sun went black across the United States in the middle of the day. That's a big sign. And then we had the, um, we had the Virgo sign, the, the uh, Revelation 12 sign in the heavens, just like it describes in Revelation 12, that Feast of Trumpets. That's another sign. And then five more years, five is the number of grace. Those are like the five-year warnings. Could be. That was like the five-year warning of grace is running out. So I'm really looking up this year. I don't think we have much longer to go at all. I think that this is it. So here's the encouraging video. Pray for one another. I'm going to do this plug. Um, I know Jesus is coming really soon, but I have a friend in financial need. Um, I never do this. I never ask for money myself. I don't have a PayPal for myself. My ministry is free. Paul didn't want to be a burden to the churches, so he made tents to fund his own way. I do not believe in asking people for money for what I do. But if you feel led in your heart to give to somebody who's in need, I do have a friend in need. She doesn't have any income right now. 
She had something really satanic happen to her, and now she doesn't have her money coming in for rent. She could be evicted at any time. She doesn't have money for food, and her cell phone is going bad. And that really makes me sad because um, it's an old phone and it's having problems charging, and I talk to her daily. I'm her prayer partner, so... Um, I'm going to post the, the giving link below, and if no one can give, no one can give. Just give what the, the Lord leads, and um, again, I don't ask for anyone to give to my ministry because my ministry is free, and I want my reward to be in heaven. Um, so if, if the Lord prompts you to give, everybody can just give a little bit, and it will add up. But I just wanted to say we're going home really soon, and I couldn't be more excited because... The bride, again, is being really refined by some real trials, and I don't complain about my symptoms a lot or what I'm going through, but I can't wait to get my rewards for this, <laughs> and I can't wait to be with every one of you and to be with my family again and to raise my kids where I don't have to fear. There's just so much wickedness. There's so much wickedness. There's so much corruption. I don't trust people. And um, there's just threats everywhere. Like, we had extreme heat this summer. We had extreme heat. Like, up to 115. There was a couple days where it was 115, and we had to stay inside the whole day. And even if we went outside at, at night at, like, 8 or 9, it was still hot. And black widows, like crazy, massive black widows all over the neighborhood. You could see them on the sidewalks when you, if you walk during the nighttime when they come out. It was gross, to say the least. And so this world is just groaning for the bridegroom. And I don't want to be here any longer. It's not safe. It's not safe for the innocent. It's not safe. My roots are not planted here. So God bless you guys. Just want to do a really quick encouragement. And I'll, I'll, I'll drop the giving link for my friend. Again, it's not for me. Um, in the description box if you feel led to give. So God bless you. Have a good one. See you in the clouds.